So, yeah, I'm just trying to explain what the hell's going on in my head half the time when I'm trying to learn stuff. Because, what, why the hell not? Anyways, so, usually when you read books, go through lectures, read your notes, it's usually in this kind of format, where it's a topic or, like, the problem to be solved. And they will give, like, subtopics, which are supposed to solve the problem. And then from there, there's, like, sub-solutions and explanations. And usually, when we read these things, we actually understand. But after the point of reading, you will forget, like, some parts of this, or actually most of the red parts. Except the explanation. Sometimes, like, it depends on how relevant it is to your prior knowledge. But anyways, usually you just read the stuff, you understand it, and then you think you will remember the stuff. But then, in the end, you just remember the gist of it. So, what's the issue here? Because you have to keep rereading all the stuff, essentially. Or like, relearning, and it feels damn tedious. Even though afterwards you supposedly can recall more when relearning it like the second time and third time. Because you sort of like don't need to go through the understanding part again. You just can't remember it, if that makes sense. Because you read it before, you spent the brain power to understand it the first time. It's just that you forgot about it. And the reason why you have to keep relearning even though you actually understand the shit is because you only remember information that is important and relevant because it takes a lot of energy to just store the info. So the brain just like throws out and sweeps away all the irrelevant information. And you can't just say it's important because it's for a test or like some superficial reason. It must be like in a in that, in that sense, where it's like, not my up. I'll explain it later. So, what we usually do is try to understand, try to memorize the thing. But we should try to change the step by step thing. So instead of doing it first, we do it last. So what's the first thing we should do? Instead, we should find out why the thing is important so that we can make the information relevant and important to us. And there are a few ways. It's quite vague here, but I'll explain them further in the future. So, usually, there's only a few reasons why something can be important. Which is one, you want to use it to solve a problem. So, let's say you watch a video about video editing. And you needed to find out how to, let's say, crop the video. You will only like, look out for that piece of information in the whole video, even though the video will probably teach you like 10 other things. But at the end of the video, you probably only remember the ones that were relevant to the problem, if that makes sense. And it's, not a, it's nothing special about that piece of information, except it was supposed to help you solve your specific problem. And the second thing is, if it's just something that you're very curious about, that you want to know, like, not like fake one, nah, but legit want to know, then your brain will see it as relevant. Nah. Also, it's not a like, hard, hard rule, but it just works. At least for me, that's why I said it, it's like my brain. And the other way to help you remember the info more, instead of having to, you still need to read them, but not as many times, is to actually try to represent the information differently. And the reason this is important is because you have a different way of perceiving the same information as the person teaching it, the person writing the book. And your job, right, is if you're not understand it, which is the laid down steps, you should try to represent it in a way that fits your worldview, like 
your prior knowledge matches with what you know before. Because the way that it is put in the books and notes is the way that it makes the most sense to the person writing it. And your job is to reframe it in a way that makes sense to you. If that makes sense. So, as a result of doing these things, which are all very... I wouldn't say super complicated, but... I would also, like, uh, go into more detail in the future. And as you do these things, and some other stuff which I didn't write here, because it's too complicated you will have a higher retention of the information because the information just makes sense. You know why you're remembering it and you're curious about it. So, yeah. That's about it. Adios.